If the moon crashed directly into the center of the Earth, what do you think would happen to the Earth? What do you think would happen to us? And would the Earth ever regain its ability to hold life? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, everybody? Much Adventure here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to run another um, universe sandbox experiment. And I was thinking, you know, what would happen to the Earth if the moon crashed literally directly into it? And would we ever survive and... You know, what would just what would the layout of the earth look like so i think uh with no further ado let's start that simulation what i'm going to do is delete the moon we currently have and then let's find out the speed of the orbit of the moon currently because that way i'm thinking you know if the moon's currently orbiting at a certain speed let's find that out and then let's plug that in and then that's what we'll launch at the earth so it'll be kind of realistic speed because obviously you know in this game you know, if you fire a, a pigeon at light speed, it'll just incinerate the entire Earth. So we'll keep this kind of as realistic as, as it could be. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's start. So first thing I'm going to do is grab the moon here. And we are over to actions and delete object. Okay, so now let's, let's kind of zoom in on the Earth. Let's give it a little illumination there so you can see what's going on. Then let's go into tools, go add. Then we will have to find the moon. Then we're going to go over here to launch on the side. Turn off auto launch velocity. And then I actually pulled it up already uh, right here, which is how fast does the moon orbit the Earth in seconds? So check this out. Uh, with a mean orbital velocity around the Barry Center between Earth and moon of 1.022 kilometers per second. So that means we're going to go back here. Make this guy 1.022. Enter. 1.02 kilometers per second. Close enough. The simulation's currently pa oh wait, I'm gonna pause it now. And uh, you know, let's think fire the moon off. It's ready to go. How terrifying would this be, by the way? Uh, and let's press play on that. So because it's in real time, you, you really can't notice. But if I start fast forwarding, then we'll see. Um, okay, so let's. So the moon is, you can't really tell, but the moon is actually coming towards Earth. Imagine the, the, ter the absolute terror. Let's see if we can get on the Earth and look up and see the, uh, what you'd be seeing. Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine you saw that coming? That would be horrifying. That would be absolutely horrifying. Okay, now if I... I think if I if I play, we're going to spin away from the moon, so... We won't see it coming towards us, but... Oh yeah, this would be just... T absolutely terrifying. Okay, here we go. It's coming in. Boom! Oh my lord. Could you imagine? Okay, so this is just complete lava now. It's just liquid hot magma. Um, bonus if you get that reference. This is insane. Look at, could you imagine this was what your view looked like? Yeah, so you're not, I mean, even with a bunker system, any of that, I highly doubt you're surviving at the impact zone, which is, wow. Look at that. And even, you know, even over here, where, where are we? I can't even tell where we are anymore. Is this North America? Just look at the fragments of the moon glowing hot everywhere and, and you know that would be like meteorites just smashing okay let's uh let's unpause again yeah look at this look at the insanity of this wow okay so one side of the earth complete you would be completely wiped out the other side you know there is a possibility of of maybe surviving um let's just go over here and let's check out the life likelihood right now. Um, life likelihood 0 0.6. Earth similarity. And it's going down. Look at that. It's dropping really fast. 0 0.5. It's going to keep going probably down. You, okay, survive. there is surviving. I'm, I'm actually shocked that it's not fully dead. Look at this. It's, it's going down even more. I don't know. 0.35. Anyways, so look at the Earth right now. Not a great place to be. 
not a great place to be. And even look at the amount of uh, fragments and what these would all be kind of meteorites eventually making their way back to the earth. That would be a horrible time. It would be a horrible time. So, but life likelihood, okay, 0 0.289. Wow. So now what I'm going to do, I think, is let's speed up time. See what happens. Okay, we're back, and uh, the year is now 2040. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's really only like less than 20 years, I think, after the, uh, the huge giant explosion that we just caused. And life likelihood is 84%. That's crazy. So basically, the Earth has regained almost... I mean, we were down to like 0 0.02 or 0 0.2 or something really low. Earth similarity was down super low. That's back up to 97. So life likelihood, 84%. That means somehow, some way, we could technically survive a gigantic impact from the moon hitting the direct center of the earth. I mean, who would have known? I guess if you have like a, you know, some kind of a bunker fallout system on the other side of the earth and then the moon hits the opposite side, maybe you'd be okay, but it's unbelievable. It would be a wild couple decades, that's for sure. Let's just check out what we've done now. Let's check out what the earth even looks like anymore after that. It's just completely displaced everything. What is I want to say this was this was North America? I can't tell. And then that's South America? No. Oh, there's Australia. Okay, so Australia survived everything. So humanity remains in Australia. God bless. God bless you Australians. Um, so this really up here is like, this is like China, Asia, Russia. It's got absolutely, Europe got annihilated. So this is, would be Europe. This is probably would be Africa, I guess, right? There's Madagascar. Oh, Madagascar looks like it survived too. Check that out. Madagascar is still alive, but then there's a, you know, kind of the I would say what Northwest Africa just got wiped out. Europe essentially is completely gone. Um, you know, you got a little bit of stuff going on over here, but wow, I got completely wiped. And then uh, this is okay. Here's North America right here. Then. So North, look at that. North America is like a sliver of, of west of the mountains, like the Rockies. That's all North America is anymore, just the Rockies. And then we go down here, and it's the same thing. South America is just the, uh, what do you call those, the Andes? I forget. But Chile is basically the only surviving, look at that, like a thin line. Now we go down to uh, Antarctica here, and... Uh, it's 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 surviving. Let's see the Arctic up here. Still frozen. So it looks like a lot of water was obviously melted during that, you know, insane period. Look at this island. Imagine who lives there. Imagine the tales, the tales and the lore of those who live on the island after the the moon exploded. Imagine trying to explain to civilizations what happened. Like, oh my lord. But like, yes, we had a moon and it exploded and now we no longer have this moon following us. The good news is, though, the Hubble Space Telescope did survive. Um, that's pretty cool. Imagine, I mean, here's a cool story idea. Imagine finding, imagine like this happened, right? Society got wiped out. Then we rebuilt ourselves after some giant cataclysm. And now we start finding like these ancient technologies. Like imagine we get into space and there's already satellite there. And it's like, who made this? But it really was us. Anyways, you know, that's just kind of stuff I think about. But that was... uh. That was pretty neat, I gotta say. That was a cool experiment. Obviously, if we keep it going, it's just gonna keep gaining life again. So, I'm not worried anymore about anything about the Earth. I mean, if we can survive the moon smashing directly into us, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, how realistic is this? I have no idea. And like, you know, would all, you know, does the simulation actually mean, you know, we all got wiped out, humanity, everything got wiped out, but then the life likelihood is back together. You know what I mean? So like we all essentially died, everything's wiped out, but then the earth is now like fertile again. Not to say that we survived or whatever, you know, that could, it, you could take that either way. Um, you know. If we knew it was coming, we could probably build shelters and stuff to possibly survive it. I don't know. 
Scientists would know where it was going to hit, you would think, so. Anyways, there we go. Good thing we don't have the amount of uh, moons Jupiter has. I mean, what did you guys think? Did you guys think that we were going to actually survive that impact? Or at least that the world would uh, come back to having a life likelihood of like 84, 87%. And if I left this thing going, that thing would just keep keep rising. So uh, did you guys see that coming? Because I did not necessarily see that coming. I really didn't think that was going to happen. Um, but it did. And here we are. So it kind of gives you hope. I mean, that's a hopeful simulation to get smashed by the moon and then less than 40 or 20 years later to be basically existing again. I mean, yeah, there'd be a lot of carnage. There'd be a lot of this and that. But uh, I mean, we got some islands. We got islands. We got everything. It's uh, kind of interesting. It's an interesting thought experiment to think that we might be OK after something so absolutely ridiculously huge. And uh, as some scientists think, maybe that's what happened to Mars. What do you guys think? Anyways, if you guys want to join my uh, YouTube membership uh, to support me, you definitely can do that. Um, I'll put your name in the credits. And also, uh, if you're new here, you know, subscribe and uh, like the video and just leave me a comment on uh, you know, what you think was going to happen there. Because I'm actually curious to think what you guys all thought at the start. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. See you later.